Well, you'll be seeing a lot of blue being worn on KSLA today, and it's to raise awareness for colorectal cancer. So joining us today is Dr. Sunda Pandit, a gastroenterologist at Oshner LSU Health Shreveport to help educate us. We were just talking during the weather, colon cancer. It has now moved from the fourth most common cancer diagnosis to the third, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yes, you are right. Uh, if you combine both sexes, men and women, colon cancer or a colorectal cancer has become third most common new diagnosis in the United States. And actually, the death from the colorectal cancer, it's become the second leading cause of death for both men and women. So it's really important uh, that we discuss about the colorectal cancer, especially March is the colorectal cancer awareness month. Yes. Then it's talking this is one of the um, easily not necessarily preventable but most treatable cancers out there as well right absolutely prevention is the key when we talk about colorectal cancer so we recommend screening individual who are 45 and um, to go and screen for a colorectal cancer especially colonoscopy or a stool based tests uh, so that you can prevent even having a cancer and the test is very simple. You know, it's a, it is a little invasive, but it's not a painful process. It's something that is very simple for people to do. Yes, there are stool-based tests, which is non-invasive, and the invasive or a slightly invasive would be colonoscopies. And again, I would like to uh, mention this is most people think that colonoscopy is a painful procedure. It's actually a very painless procedure. The hardest part is to take a prep, uh, going through that glaxotin. Drinking that juice. Yes, that is the hardest part, but otherwise it's a painless procedure and uh, it lasts from 15 to 20 minutes. You'll be asleep, you won't know a thing. And uh, the most important part is when we do colonoscopies and a fine polyp, which is basically a small growth of tissue inside lining of the colon, we can remove that then in there. Mm -hmm. And polyp is the one that actually turns into a colon cancer or a rectal cancer if not removed on time. Okay, and you mentioned earlier, 45 is the new 50. Why are we moving that age back? That's a very great question. Um, if we compare the incidence of the colorectal cancer from the individual who were born in the 1950s to the individual who were born in 1990s, the colon cancer rate or their risk has gone up twice and the risk of rectal cancer getting at earlier age has gone up four times. So that is why we actually wanted to catch the individual earlier to prevent them from having colorectal cancer. So we moved from 50 to 45. So hence 45 is the new 50. So if you are 45 and above, uh, you and your family members go out there and get screening for colorectal cancer. And it's so important to have done that. We may have people who have more questions than we have time to go into today, but that is why you have an event coming up this weekend. Yes, absolutely. So tomorrow, March 4th at St. Mary's Community, uh, uh, St. Mary's Medical Center at Community Event Center, we are having um, awareness event, colorectal cancer awareness event. Uh, it starts at 11, so you can come in, walk in, and register for the event and learn more about when to screen, who are at risk, what is the risk factors to get colon cancers or rectal cancers. Uh, there will be Q&A session after short presentation by me, uh, and uh, we are serving lunch, so you can uh, have a lunch, and it's a relaxed environment to learn about colorectal cancer. So it's basically an awareness event that we are doing tomorrow at uh, Oshner LSU Health uh, St. Mary's Medical Center. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for doing this for our community, because as you mentioned, we have to get the word out. Yes, and the best test is the one that gets done. So get out there and get screened for colorectal cancer. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dr. Pandit, for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Again, everyone, we are going to put that information up on the screen quickly. That way you can check it out again. It's going to take place on Saturday tomorrow at the St. Mary Medical Community Center. Lunch and registration begin at 11 a.m., followed by the presentation at noon. Free colorectal screening kits will be available for those attending.